Hello, I am Moin Mulla. I am currently working as a senior software development engineer at Apo Technologies Pune. Um, I completed my graduation in electronics and telecommunication engineering from uh, Pune University. And then after that, I um, opted for a diploma, postgraduate diploma, advanced computing from CDAP. And uh, after successfully completing my course, I joined Apo Technology as a uh, software engineer. So uh, I so uh, CDAC is the Center for Development in Advanced Computing. It comes under uh, Ministry of Telecommunications of Government of India, and they also provide uh, training courses, diplomas in various fields of computing like. Um, uh, advanced computing, um, like uh, big data analysis, Internet of Things, artificial intelligence, uh, and um, embedded systems, VLSI, and so on. So it usually is a six months uh, course diploma, uh, and uh, after which they also provide you uh, placement assistance. So because it is uh, from the government of India, uh, it is valued. And uh, what these courses do is currently in year three colleges, there is a big gap between the industry and uh, what the college is teaching and what the industry is actually demanding. So uh, at CDAC, they invite prof uh, actual engineers who are currently working, who have previously worked on prominent positions and who know uh, something about how the industry works, what the industry wants and what they are expecting from you. So these people are the ones teaching, teaching at CDAC uh, and that's the most beneficial thing. So I would say uh, I came to know about the course from my, fr from my friends uh, in my final year and uh, this course is uh, suitable for anyone who is who belongs uh, to a tier three college or wants to change his career path. Like if you're going from, let's say, electronics, uh, then you want to pursue a career in IT and or um, you want to acquire uh, more skills in embedded systems or VLSI, then this course is perfect for you. So my motivation was to acquire new skills. Um, I quickly realized during my final year that um, I did not have enough skills. Whatever skills, the basics were taught in the college courses and all, but uh, those were not enough to get a good uh, job opportunity in, uh, in the IT industry. So uh, I had two options then either um, go for Coursera courses and do other courses on my own, online online or offline, whatever, or else go for CDAC. So I opted for CDAC because it uh, provides placement opportunities also. And uh, the second thing is, uh, it is it is very structured, it is very intense. Sometimes we had like um, 15 hours of classes, projects and so on. So uh, once you get into that routine, you don't have to motivate yourself. There are already, uh, you are into that course and you'll come out of it learning a lot of things. So that was my motivation. Uh, CDAC has many branches like, uh, uh, like Diploma in Advanced Computing, Diploma in Big Data Analysis, Diploma in Artificial Intelligence, uh, Internet of Things, uh, embedded systems, VLSI, and so on. So uh, I chose a uh, diploma in advanced computing, DAC, which is the their most popular course uh, because uh, it teaches you uh, all the everything, almost everything about software engineering. Um, the course includes front end development, uh, back end development, database management systems, operating systems. Uh, and uh, software design, software lifecycle management, and so on. So uh, 
the aim of this course is to uh, make you a full stack engineer and so that when you uh, complete this course you are capable of handling uh, any kind of software engineering projects um, other courses i found that they were a bit specialized so um, at when i did my cdac i was a fresher and um, i have observed that mostly for um, artificial intelligence or big data analysis uh the companies are demanding experienced professionals so uh, as i was a fresher uh, and the placement opportunities are better in that course i opted for this uh otherwise uh, there are for electronics those who want to go in core electronics there is also a course in embedded systems design and blsi so as cdac as this course is uh, a six month course they have uh, two batches in a year so one batch starts in august and another batch starts in february so uh, i would suggest everyone to go for the august batch because uh, your final year will end somewhere around may uh, and the notification and the form filling forms uh, application uh come out on uh, somewhere around june so you fill the form uh, you um, attend the test you give the test and in july august uh, all the placement rounds uh, uh, the uh, cap rounds happen so uh, the eligibility criteria for this is that you must be you must have completed your bachelor's of engineering they will consider you uh even if you are in the, in the final year and uh one semester is remaining uh they will give you a provisional admission uh based on the condition that on the first day of uh, cdac you'll have to submit your uh, degree certificate or passing certificate so uh only uh you need to have a bachelor's of engineering degree in uh either electronics and telecommunication it or computer science or you can have uh, an msc in computer science so this is the eligibility criteria other than that you need to have scored um, at least 50% uh, aggregate in your graduation for most courses there are some courses like artificial intelligence and artificial intel intelligence it has a criteria of uh 60% so you need to have uh 60% aggregate during your graduation to be eligible for uh, artificial intelligence i think for big data analysis it's 55% uh, embedded systems 55% and vlsi i am 55% yes pdac uh, does provide placement assistance many companies including uh, big companies like microsoft and google uh, attend the placement drives and uh, but the placements are better in some regions than other regions so the pune uh, pune mumbai region has the best placements uh, after that you uh, bengaluru region has good placements and after that i would say that hyderabad has good placements um other than that i do not have much idea about but i have heard that uh, they are not that great so uh, the placement round you'll get 30 calls um so companies will keep coming uh, your profile will be pitched to them given to them and they will shortlist you and they'll give you a call so like this you'll have 30 calls in the common campus placement where all the branches come together um, at a venue all the companies come there and every day there are like two to three companies coming in um, they have their interview rounds and so on there uh, and uh, yeah uh, so after those 30 rounds uh, you can still appear for placements but those will be off campus placements see that when the your institute will still keep sending your profiles to different companies but then uh, you will not have uh, they will not 
arrange it arrange a venue for you you'll have to go uh, to where they call you you'll have to visit their offices give their interviews um complete their uh, tasks if uh, they have any and then you might get selected there so this goes on for about 3 months so usually in these institutes namely uh, cdac at pune sunbeam iscsd uh, mumbai uh, cdac mumbai uh, cdac harbor and cdac uh, juhu uh, and cdac karad usually this have like above 90% placements during uh, these 30 calls other than these uh then there are other centers which have like 60% of call 50% or even lower so uh the placement scenario varies between which institute you get into cedac acts almost has uh cedac acts and cedac sandhi almost have uh, 100% record every year yeah so uh, the call start after everything is done after your exam ccpp exam is done after your project completion and after your results are out um so it's after those 6 months the placement start um, so different companies have different criteria some companies demand that in your 10 12% plus your engineering aggregate should be this much and only then we want this candidate or else not some uh companies are okay if uh, your past record is not that great and your ccpp which is the cedac exam cedac final exam that percentage if it's great they will select you just on the basis of that so it depends varies from company to company one company might select you um, other company might not might not so um, i would say that most of the companies uh, that visit the cedac campus um, in the first month especially these uh, three institutes three uh, these five institutes that i talked about uh, say cedac pune sunbeam kharagar juhu and so on uh, these during the first month these receive like mostly product based companies come in to hire so after the first month the consultancy based companies come to hire and because uh, during the first month uh, mostly the product based companies are recruiting they uh, offer a much higher package than you would get at uh, any tier 3 college so it's almost i would say uh, during my batch it was almost like uh, at least uh, Two to three lakhs difference between what you would have got at a tier uh, during your college placements versus after CDAC. So, thank you all for listening to this uh, and so attentively. Uh, I wish you all the best uh, in your future. I hope you all get through and get good placements. Thank you all.